Hello everyone, how are you today? So this is another recorded video and this is going to be uploaded on Friday. Um, I just realized that the, uh, the Friday will still be in hotel because after I fly back to Japan, I have to be in the hotel for three days. So that means um, Wednesday and uh, Thursday, Friday, I will be in the hotel and on Saturday, I will be coming back to my house. So I figured Friday I have to record a video. So that's why I am actually running the recording right now. And I am thinking what to talk about. And the market, I can talk about market, but uh, this video, I think it's important to talk about some psychology or mental, mental mindset. Because uh, on the beginning of April, looks like we have a quite rough market, especially in March. Uh, we had a nice trends on JPI pairs in the beginning of March, but towards the end of the March, the market retries backwards and Swiss franc pairs started to be trending towards the end of March, but now it's going opposite direction. And uh, due to these um, USD or Euros are also spiking pound could be spiking also too this week so um, in that sense uh, the market are quite rough the markets are quite rough right now so I thought that uh, instead of talking about the pairs or markets I think I will talk about how I overcame how I overcame a tough situation when I was trading in the beginning so if you can see my profile oh by the way this is just my view so if you take trades please do with your own risk management as a disclaimer so uh, yeah um, you can find my profile you can just click on this case profile and uh, you can launch to this page and uh, you can have my you can read my history of my life hold on let me squeeze my face so that you can see the whole thing here yeah so basically you can uh, this is my self in, self interaction page so you can see my performance of uh, last year 2020 and I will post uh, this year's uh, updates also but you can see my uh, educational background and career background yeah I spent a um, couple of days to write all these so anyways um, in this video, I wanted to talk about um, how I became a profitable trader. Of course, I wasn't a profitable from the beginning. I was losing and losing. When I first started the trades on this uh, 2013, that was a loss. It says this is a negative uh, 1200, but uh, I think I lost more. This is only for Forex, but uh, I was buying uh, these paid indicators, paid robot EAs, and I was attending these seminars and courses. And so uh, this is only from trading, but uh, if I can include a couple more other things, then it should be more. But um, yeah, so that was very tough, the year of 2013. In 2014, uh, it became almost break even. This is only a 1700 loss for yearly basis, but still a loss. This is still a loss. So I was hanging for the two years and from the third year, 2015, finally I became profitable. But this is on yearly basis. So I had some ups and downs still on the 2015. Uh, we had many trending pairs, strong trend, in 2015 all on these forex major pairs so uh, I remember I was able to capture long long pips lots of pips on this year but still the the, the profit the uh, net profit is not really high and that was because my trade account at that time was only uh, $10,000 or maybe $20,000 so that was um, less as compared to now but uh, not only that I had ups and downs on 2015, but somehow I became profitable on yearly basis. 
And afterwards, 2016, I really got the feeling of of uh, keep doing the Forex Trader career. So, so that means for the last three years, 2013, 14, 15, basically I was struggling. I was uh, I didn't have confidence uh, to be honest whether I can keep doing the Forex trades as my main career or should I find another job? Should I find a uh, yeah, like a, another source of income. That was my mindset. So uh, yeah, four years, if you think about it, is a long time. But uh, I didn't quit. But instead, I was uh, trying to look for, I was trying to build my own system. And that was a major change of mine to become a f profitable trader because before, 2013 14 I was basically using some uh, somebody else's strategy and without knowing the mechanism behind um, I was using it so that's why I kept losing and also another reason I was losing was that the uh, I don't blame these indicators or you know services robots because indicators just indicators they don't have their own emotion they don't have their own like uh, thinkings or feelings like robots and EAs and uh, but that was me that used it wrong I kept losing for the last uh, two years 13 14 that's because I didn't keep using the indicator and I wasn't able to master these indicators now I only use Ichimoku for higher time frames and I have a solid system from a daily chart down to 30 minute time frame I use Ichimoku and also weekly chart I use Ichimoku too and I never I don't really use other indicators I only use Ichimoku I really stick to Ichimoku and then when it comes to lower time frames I capture the edges the entry edges by multiple confirmations I use Bollinger Bands Stochastics and also uh, Fibonacci retracement and lines also price action but Fibonacci lines and also a uh, Bollinger Band Scarcics I have been using all these years all these years and also Ichimoku I was using all these years but I wasn't really patient enough to keep using these I was switching these indicators from here and there using uh, moving average I, th I was thinking that the uh, moving average bounce like 200 or um, 170 EMA or uh, you know 50 EMA 20 EMA you know you name it uh, you know there are many strategies like that uh, moving average cross MACD divergence parabolics or pivot points you name it there are so many indicators out in the world so um, but unfortunately if I look back my past I was kept switching from indicator to indicator and that's why I wasn't able to get the sense of when it works and when does it work so afterwards after 2015 I really stick to Ichimoku and I really used Ichimoku only as a main strategy of mine and that's when I saw the breakthrough but until I, re I was able to reach that level of course I had many painful experience of the losses and also not only the losses in money but loss in emotion or loss in uh, feeling also I was losing confidence I became a uh, back in 2013 I got depressed so uh, I need to be medicated I need to take medications medicines to uh, to to settle my emotion down because I was so depressed um, so uh, yeah and that's why I kept using it different indicators I was watching all other videos or websites and trial many different things until I find Ichimoku and until I find the one that I want to stick to so this is all the part of the process it's all part of the process and without these processes you cannot go further 
Yeah, at some point you have to have confidence, of course, on whatever you do. You have to have confidence, otherwise,、um, you will lose yourself. So,、uh, yeah, I think this is a、uh, very important mindset. So, and also,、um, as time goes on, you want to increase the capital size, you want to increase the lot size per trade. But same risk, 50%, but you want to increase the lot sizing. And that comes under psychology too. So now I'm managing 180,000 USD on the Forex account. And my goal for this year to increase my Forex account, a Forex a trading account, up to、uh, 300,000. And that's my goal for this year. And then I will diversify、uh, into stock markets. US stock market, Euro stocks, and also some indexes, and also some properties here in Dubai. So that's my plan for this year. So,、uh, but now that I'm managing、uh, $180,000 per monthly basis, every month I reset to、uh, $180,000 in my Forex account and I take trades. I take 2% for the stop loss and I keep trading. But if I If, I, if somebody asks me to manage $180,000 or、uh, $200,000 back in 2013, it's impossible. It's impossible because I, had, I will have lots of emotions. Only one single trade can have like a $2,000 loss in five minutes or maybe $3,000 win in, for the next 10 minutes because of these lot sizings is higher than. You know, these、uh, smaller a c c o u n t my emotion goes like a roller coaster for sure. If I took trades on these big accounts back in 2013, so what I did was I gradually increased my Forex account size. So initially, I started with the、uh, $10,000, which I felt comfortable to take trades. So $10,000 back then was just. You know, just,、uh, just my pocket money because,、uh, like I said in the previous video, you have to have two wallets. One is the wallet for live, and another one is wallet for invest. And you never want to touch the wallet for living, otherwise, you have more emotional、uh, struggle, frustration. So, make sure you have the money to trade so that even if you lose this one, it's okay.、Um, so, That was my initial uh, deposit, uh, $10,000 account. And I lost it once on 2013. And the next, on the next account, I lost it about half, like a quarter. And、uh, yeah, th that was my result, 2013. So I blew up account once and then I recreated, recreated with the same amount, $10,000. And then、um, I lost about half again. Uh, afterwards, towards the end of, uh, end of uh, this year, we recovered, but still, the next one drawdown was almost like 20%. So that's when I stopped trading real money and I came back to demo account. That was 2014. I came back to demo account for the first three months January, February, March. And then from April, I started by real. And that was a very struggle for me. I did the demo trade, but my emotion was not really so much into the demo account because、uh, I know it's a demo, it's demonstration, it's not really, you know, it's, it's not the real money. I don't feel excited or I don't feel sad when,、uh, you know, whenever it goes. But、um, at some point, I treated the demo account as if I'm taking the real trades. And that's when I decided to discard, decided to throw all these indicators away. And I was only looking at this、uh, price action. I made a candlestick all white. So now in, in this live stream, I have these、uh, candlesticks to be colored blue and, blue and white. But、um, back then, of course, I didn't use the,、uh, I decided not to use Ichimoku. Any, no indicators and no colors on the candlesticks. So I was seeing a chart like this, 
and practice myself to take trace. So now I do the live streams, so that's why I color. But uh, if I take trace by my own, then still now I don't color the candlesticks because this way um, you can have uh, you can have a flat like a flat bias, no bias towards the market, whether it goes up and down. But you can just focus on the wicks and also the length of the body and also uh, whether the market is in wave or bearish in waves. You can easily capture uh, these uh, market patterns too if you just color like this. But if you color like a red and green or other colors, then you, you might have bias towards the market, towards one single candlesticks. So uh, maybe you want to try this one. If you're still struggling to make profits on the, in the long run, then you might want to try this one and try to take trades like this way. But that was the part of the process what I did back in 2014. And yeah, from April, I started to take trades uh, real. But still, that was a bit of a loss. But I got that sense of it. I got that sense and confidence on this 2014. So I was pretty sure that the next year, 2015, is going to be a good year. Because um, I got to know uh, what makes the market move and what kind of patterns we see on these multiple pairs. Because all pairs are different and uh, it's different every year. And there, but there are patterns. So there are patterns when the market will be supported by Kijun Sen or Tenkan Sen, or Chikou Span can bounce by the candles. Um, as I mentioned before, um, you have to look for the patterns in the market because indicators are just indicators, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So you better know um, when to use the indicator and also you have to know when it works and more importantly you have to know when it doesn't work and when it doesn't work then simply you stay away from the chart you take tries only your indicator is working and sorry and that's something that I learned back in the 2014 and that's when I got the sense of this winning habit winning mindset in 2015 so uh, yeah, so that's a little bit of a story of mine in the past, how I overcame the loss to profit. So it's, of course, it's about strategy. Afterwards, I, I build my strategy. Still now, I'm building my strategy. I'm changing. I might not change my strategies every year. So if you see me, my videos last year and this year, uh, the way I explain chart should be different because I change uh, the way I interpret these markets by Ichimoku, but I have with the but with the same same knowledge, same indicator as Ichimoku. Then I see market. I ca I can notice these minor changes in the market. So the way I explain market is going to be a bit different, and the, also the way I take trades uh, also a bit different every year because no markets are same every year so if you can first get the sense of uh, your indicator your strategy if you're using mine kts then um please practice please practice keep practicing it back test and forward test and uh, keep practicing it until you get confidence and then uh, you can build up your own strategy. You, you might want to add some other indicators or other uh, markets to take trades. Then uh, afterwards, what you can do is you can minor change. You have to adapt to this changing market every year or every month. It's changing. So uh, you have to know how to adapt to this new environment so that, uh, so that you can keep trading in the long run yeah I hope that makes sense I hope that makes sense and I will keep talking about these things also in my future lives so uh, yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video okay so this is uploaded on Friday so tomorrow I will be 
coming back to my house and I will see you in live uh, in, from house. Okay, so yep, I hope you have a great weekend and uh, I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.